Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, where's my brethren all around the world watching this video? Hope you're having a great day today as you're tuning in. Do yourself a damn favor and hit that subscribe button, and surely you will not be disappointed. Now, okay, in the aftermath of Keith Thurman's uh, performance against Jose Cito Lopez, uh, we, 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 there, there was a lot to. Uh, Analyze, you know, he was first of all, I thought he looked pretty good all, all things considered, you know 22 months out of the ring is a long time um, And he lost two prime years of his career due to his inactivity even if it was self-inflicted inactivity um, Because I mean I, again, I know he was injured, but you know, he, he got you know, like, you know traveling he got married, you know Not all those 22 months were just because he was injured, but I digress Anyway, he looked pretty good against Hosita Lopez a guy Lopez who has been on the block fought a lot of top contenders uh, been, a, been a contender himself for, for quite some time and you know he, coming into this fight he, he was coming on he was coming in on a, on a bit of a win streak he had a three fight win streak uh, beat it beat Miguel Cruz who was a decent fighter um, so it wasn't you know it, it wasn't a bad fight for your for your comeback it, it really wasn't um, first seven rounds I thought Keith looked like, looked like a million bucks you know he reminded us or six rounds I should say he reminded us in the first six rounds of the fight why uh, he was unified champion. Why he is such a talented fighter? You know, we saw Keith Thurman use his jab. We saw Keith Thurman's defensive ability. We saw Keith Thurman's uh, uh, vast array and his, his punch. You know, the punch selection. You know, the, the, the different punches he's throwing. Whether it was a jab, whether it was a straight, whether it was hook to the body, hook to the head. He showed you all kinds of different punches. You know, the uppercut. You know, all kinds of punches. So. There was a lot of positives you could take from his performance. Uh, now, obviously, the rounds, the things people are, the, the, the thing people, the thing people are focusing on the most right now is that seventh round when Jose to Lopez, you know, hurt him badly, and it was worse than when Thurman got hit by Luis Colazo. And they're saying, you know, I've seen people say Keith Thurman sucks, he's no good, he's trash, he's this, he's that, and I think that's unfair because again, the guy's been out the ring for almost two years. And he doesn't suck. You can't say he sucks. The dude's a unified was a unified champion. He beat freaking Sean Porter and, and Danny Garcia, um, two like very high level fighters in the welterweight division. So you can't say he's trash. But I make this video to say this because um, there were definitely some things that I saw from him last night that I know are gonna be mistakes that are gonna be there even if he has two or three more fights because there's some habits fighters have that they just don't break. And I'm just saying I'm, I'm making this video to say that if Keith Thurman does fight Manny Pacquiao, it will be a tough fight for him. A very tough fight for him. One of the toughest fights for him, honestly. Like, and, and, and I'm not going to lie, I, I would maybe slightly lead towards Thurman. I think Thurman could beat Manny Pacquiao um, just because of the youth, because of the um, counter-punching, the boxing IQ, the footwork, you know, all that stuff. But then again, it's like I was watching him punch Jose Cito Lopez and, you know, towards the latter stages of that fight, you know, he really wasn't able to get... Jose Cito Lopez's respect and Pacquiao, you know, Pacquiao is a lot more crafty than Jose Cito Lopez. Pacquiao punches from different angles. Pacquiao, you know, even at his advanced age of 40 years old, can still hit, you know, hit you on that chin with that left hand. And, I, and, and I'm not trying to disrespect Keith Thurman, but he has shown many times in his career if you can connect with anything of significance, whether it be to the head or the body, you can hurt him. Colazo has shown us that. Um, and last night, Jose Cito Lopez showed us that. And those guys are two certified C-class fighters, okay? C-class. Veteran fighters, you know, respect fi respected fighters, but C-class fighters nonetheless. And Pacquiao, you know, whether you like it or not, he doesn't, you know, he, he's a very underrated counterpuncher to the head and to the body. You know, he still can get up, can throw upwards of 500 to 600 punches around. And, you know, like many of Pacquiao's opponents in the past, if Thurman does feel that power from Pacquiao, I, I just see Thurman moving, doing a lot of lateral movement. You know, moving. Up. I don't think he'll sit there and, and try to fight Pacquiao, but I think he'll have to fight Pacquiao because Pacquiao will force him to. Pacquiao's pace, his pressure, just all that stuff. So look, it's a great fight. Uh, Thurman has been saying he's he's been barking all week, all week before and after the fight about fighting Pacquiao. Um, he he went on Instagram live yesterday. You know, you had people in there saying that he would get murked by Pacquiao. He took offense to it. He was saying that he would beat that boy and, 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 and that he would go night night like he did to Marquez, but you can't. But he can't really compare himself to Marquez because Marquez trained years, years to fight Pacquiao. I mean, the guy had four fights with him. He had four training camps 
Think about it. Before Marquez had that moment where he put Pacquiao to sleep, he had to go through four training camps. He had to go through all those years of training and preparation, learning his tendencies, learning you know what he does, his habits in the ring, to just to create that one moment. And Thurman ain't gonna have the luxury of doing that. You see what I'm saying? So it's a, it's 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 an interesting fight. It it, it really is an interesting fight. Um, you know, we don't know how good. You know, a, a lot of people don't know how good Pacquiao is. I know how good he is. I know what I'm watching. Pacquiao can still go out there and compete with any top ball to weight, and I mean any. All right. Um, and Thurman is definitely one of them um, because of the fact that you know, despite everything Keith does very well, I'm gonna break it down to you. Despite everything that Keith do, does very well, you know, when we talk about Keith throwing his jab, when we talk about Keith's footwork, when we talk about his boxing IQ, there's a lot of positives we can we can use for Keith Thurman in any fight. And, 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 the, and those three things I mentioned are the reason why he wins most of his fights: his boxing IQ, his footwork, you know, his 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 his, uh, his, his technical boxing skills. They are they, they, they win him a lot of fights, and they will continue to win a lot of fights in the future. As he as he continues being the world's weight division, but when we talk about him fighting someone with the experience of Manny Pacquiao, with the level of dedication and determination of Manny Pacquiao, the the amount of ring craft and ring savvy and ring experience of Manny Pacquiao is just a whole different ball game. Now I said this in my Google Hangout last night towards the latter stages of my uh, live fight reaction, and if you didn't if you didn't if you weren't there, I'm sorry. Okay, we had a blast last night, me, and my boy Alex, and Paul. We had a blast last night. So next time, so this uh, this Saturday for Kovalev, Elliot Alvarez, you better be there. It'll be square. Okay, but um, you know Keith Thurman has a habit that a lot of Florida fighters tend to have, um, and I'm, I'm gonna explain to you what I mean. So, fighters who come from the state of Florida um, were very are very a lot of fighters that come out of here, particularly if you if you train in the Clearwater or Tampa area, you tend to get really influenced by someone like Roy Jones Jr. Right. So what you'll notice, and, and I, I I would challenge any of you guys if you go to if you go to amateur boxing tournaments like. Go look at any fighters from Florida, and I, I'm, I guarantee you, you will find a, a good percentage of them, they like to fight with their hands down, or they throw really wide hooks, and they're like reflex fighters. You, you see what I'm saying? They just rely on athletic ability. A lot of Florida fighters are like that, okay? Keith Thurman is a completely, um, he doesn't have all the characteristics of a you know Florida fighter, but he does do some things that Florida fighters do. Like, for example, Keith Thurman, throws very wide hooks. They're quick, okay, they're very quick, so he can get away with it against a lot of fighters. He was able to get away with it against Sean Porter. Um, he was able to get away with it in many cases in the Danny Garcia fight, and he's been able to get away with it against lesser opposition than that in the past, you know, going back to his fights with Diego Chavez, Jesus Soto Carras, and et cetera, et cetera, Lander Bundu. But when you fight someone like Manny Pacquiao, all right, and you throw in these wide ass hooks, okay, you gotta understand with Pacquiao, there's one punch that no matter where Pacquiao is moving, what direction he's moving, how he's moving, what round of the fight is, there's always one punch Pacquiao is constantly looking for. And he's always able to land it. It's almost like, you know, in basketball, right? I'm a big basketball fan. Okay, Dirk Nowitzki, you know, a, a, a personal favorite of mine. This guy, ha he made a whole career off shooting one-legged one, le one -legged fadeaway jump shots. And, and teams know that when you, when you give the ball to Dirk Nowitzki in that post, Okay, and he, and, and he takes a dribble and he and he goes from either to, to his left or his right. You know that one-legged fadeaway is coming, but guess what? He, he goes, he does a one-legged fadeaway, he gets a shot off, it goes in the net, and and they still can't stop it, even though they know it's coming. Pacquiao kind of has that that that, that kind of signature, move, you know, punch himself, and that punch is the overhand left. We constantly see Pacquiao when he's in the ring. We constantly we constantly see Pacquiao when he's in the ring. We see him we see him like this all the time. Why? Because he knows if he slips a punch, boom, there's the left hand. Now look, with Keith one time Thurman, if he just you know, let's say he decides to get, to, to get into some exchanges with Manny Pacquiao, and I'm sure he will because it'll be a big fight. There'll be a lot of adrenaline. There'll be a lot of you know excitement around the fight. He will throw one of them long ass hooks, okay? And they are quite long, but they're quick, so that's why he gets, he's able to get, get away with them. If he does, I'm telling you, the Pacquiao straight left hand will be there. And when he gets touched with that punch, when he gets touched with that punch, we're going to see if Keith one time Thurman can handle that punch. Because a lot of guys get with that punch and they fold up. You know, that punch that punch has literally damn near killed Ricky Hatton. Okay, that punch had Adrian Broner freaking clinching, holding on for his life. It had Floyd Mayweather, you know, you know on his bicycle. You know, so... That left hand, that straight left hand, Manny Pacquiao likes to throw when he when he slips to his right, and he shoots that left hand, it can really, really 
do some serious damage. And Keith Thurman, got much love for him, got a lot of time for him, very good fighter, but he's, he does not have the best punch resistance. I mean, luckily for him, he has not gotten stopped yet. But I'm telling you right now, that's the kind of punch that can't stop Keith Thurman. Believe you me, that's the kind of punch that can't stop, can't stop Keith Thurman. And obviously, you know, it's going to take more than one punch to beat Keith Thurman, but I'm just saying, things he does in the ring, like throwing these wide-ass hooks, it can, it, can, it can allow Manny Pacquiao to land his best punch, which is the straight left hand when he slips to his right. And that's going to allow him to get momentum, gain confidence, throw these barrages of punches. He go, you know, as his career has went on, you know he's learned he's gone to the he's gone to the body a lot better as his career has gone on. Um, he's a bit, he's a, he's a really good counter puncher. You know Keith Thurman's boxing IQ, patience, and all that stuff will be severely tested against Manny Pacquiao. And I think it's a very tough fight for him. Um, you know in terms of all the fights they can make with PBC, it's it's one of the top fights I'd like to see. Um, you know all of them are pretty good actually. You know Pacquiao Porter would be good. Pacquiao Spence would be good. Pacquiao uh, Thurman would be good. Um, they're all they'd all be good fights, but um, this is one this is one that's being talked about a lot. Thurman has really adamant about it. Thurman thinks he can destroy Pacquiao. Um, I think that's ridiculous. I mean, I, I would favor him to win because I think there's just some things he does in his skill set that that could give Pacquiao problems. I mean, but, but even then, I, even though I might favor him a little bit, you know, I'm not even, I'm not even favoring him on confidence anymore like I like I was last night because I because I last night after watching him, there's just a couple things he does in the ring where it's like. I, I, I know that then those things aren't going to change even if he has two or three more fights. They're things he's done his whole career. Okay, once, once, you bake a cake, bake it, once you bake a cake, it's a damn cake. Okay, it doesn't matter if you put blue frosting on the cake or pink frosting on the cake, it's still a damn cake. Okay, and Keith Thurman is not going to all of a sudden, you know, he's been getting away with throwing these wide ass hooks his whole career. He's not going to all of a sudden, you know, shorten them up because he's fighting Manny Pacquiao. No, it's not going to happen. So. I want to see it. Uh, I hope it happens. Uh, Thurman has said, uh, he did say in his post-fight press conference last night, it's, it is worth noting this, that uh, he does prioritize Manny, pa Manny Pacquiao fight over fighting for the WBC title. Um, and a lot of people are giving, him, a lot of people are giving Keith criticism for that, but I think Keith is very smart. He, he knows that Manny Pacquiao is not going to be here forever. He didn't get a chance to fight Floyd Mayweather when he was a mandatory for like years and years. So this is probably the, the next best thing for him. And it's, you know, if he beats Pacquiao in sensational fashion, he'll, it'll do a lot for his career. So why not? So I just want to make this video to say, look, Keith Thurman, if he does fight Manny Pacquiao, there's some things that he does in the ring that are going to have him in trouble. All right. And those things are not going to change in two or three fights if he has them. Just trying to say so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below take the time to subscribe like i say every single one of my videos you can love me or you can hate me but i'm just a kid from daniel so until next time take care guys